In the beginning, the god Korea created the world. And on it, he put all of the animals. Everything from the mighty killer whale, to the magnificent thunderbird, and even the humble frog. Now the last creature he created was called the man. And to the man, he gave a very special task. The man would rank all of the other animals of the world by making a set of bows of different lengths. The longest bow would go to the strongest animal, and the shortest one would go to the weakest. Correa and the man gathered all of the animals together to tell them the news, and to tell them to arrive the next morning to receive their bows and to receive their ranks. But one of these animals, the coyote, was especially clever, and he began to hatch a plan. If I stay awake all night, he thought, then I could be first in line tomorrow, and then I'd get the longest bow. And when I'm the strongest animal, I'll be able to eat all the other ones for breakfast. And as night fell and the other animals began to sleep, the coyote lay down, but he only pretended to sleep. Night passed and dawn was just about to break and the coyote had been awake all night long and was almost about to drift off to sleep. So he got up and he ran around the world four times to try and get himself awake. But that made him even more tired than before and he collapsed in a deep slumber. Dawn came and all the animals lined up to receive their bows. But at the end of the ceremony, there was one bow still left. The man began to wonder what animal was missing. The other animals soon discovered the coyote still fast asleep and woke him up. Ashamed that his plan had failed, he went to the man who presented him with the last bow, the shortest one of them all even shorter than frogs. And all the other animals laughed at him. The coyote, who had schemed to become the strongest animal in the world, would now be the weakest. And in his embarrassment, he also became the angriest. But the man took pity on the poor coyote, and he prayed to Correa on his behalf. Correa listened and he presented the coyote with a special gift. The gift of cunning. Though he would never be the strongest animal or the fastest, he would be the cleverest. This is how the coyote got his cunning. <laughs>